Hi, this is my video on the Reek. <laughs> I cannot actually say these names because these names are absolutely bad, but it's, I think it's called RCSTO, right? And this is a camera back and belt quick release system. Now this uses a similar system to the Peak Design backpack mount and also one that I did on this one uh, which is the TCM, um, sorry, the TMC one, and also the Anwar one as well, which I have done videos on, and I'll try and leave the video link up here um, for them. But this uses, instead of using a system where, like the Peak Design, like the Anwar, and this system where we uses two kind of screws, this has a unique system which I'll show you later on. This is what you get in the box. You get an instruction manual. Now, please bear this in mind. Most of this manual is in Chinese. There is some English writing to it. And I have to say, you're going to need a magnifying glass to see the English writing part of this instruction. It is very, very fine. So please bear that in mind. And we get the system itself. You get a GoPro tripod mount with a quarter inch thread and that is made out of plastic. We get a thumb screw in there which is also made out of plastic. We get the base to um, fasten onto the actual unit. Now this base is made out of plastic with a rubber platform here and a quarter inch screw. And on the back, we have a slit on the quarter inch screw, so you can put a coin in there to tighten, or you can use this particular proprietary handle. Now, please bear it in mind, you're gonna need a little bit of nail on your fingers to get this, because it is quite fiddly, once laid flat, to pull that out. And then we actually have the unit itself here. And the whole unit, entire unit, is made out of plastic with a nice textured back to it. And we have the actual system in here to clip in the base. Now, when you apply the base, as you slide down, you hear it snap into place, and this locks it into place. Now, to release it, you simply pull back on the lever, slide up, and then that comes out. As I said to you, it does kind of do the same thing which the Peak Design, the Anwar, and this TMC unit does. But the difference with this is, while those Peak Design, the Anwar, and the TMC unit uses these two proprietary screws in there where you have to release as such, and then cantilever out the unit, then put your strap or belt in, cantilever it back, and then screw down on this. This uses a complete different system. Now the system that it uses is, you have to uh, pull down on this particular screw. It, it's elasticated, as you can hear, it snaps back. And on there, there's some teeth, and I'll try and get that into shot for you. There's some teeth here. You turn to the left, release, and then you go to the other side, release this catch here, or this lever, which flips back, and then it opens out like so. Now, as it opens out, as you can see, there are teeth marks in here and in here as well. But what is inside here and runs along on both channels all the way through, and I'll try and get this and you can see them here, it uses a cable. Now this is an actual cable, it's not plastic, it is an actual metal uh, and it uses these two cables and these two cables run through here. You may be able to see them on the back. They run through the back to this little lever or catch here. 
Then you put your belt in or bag strap. You place that back on. You clip down that, you hold that. And then all you do is kind of ratchet back the tightness to when it can, to when you just about get to your tightness that you require. For use with your GoPro camera, you're gonna need the tripod base uh, mount, what I showed you. You place the tripod base mount onto your camera like you are actually fastening your camera to any GoPro uh, fingered mount. But with this, you have to place your camera facing the curved part of that mount. So we got the curved part facing forward with the camera that way and the other part with the flat part behind the camera. This is so that when you place the camera on the bottom, on the mount, so the mount is placed on, when we put the camera back like that to the flat part, as you can see, when it goes into the actual system, the camera will be, face, will be flat and facing outwards and it'd be more at a 90 degree angle to the actual base unit rather than being on the other side where it has a tendency to go back at 90 degrees. Now I'm going to show you how to attach this um, backpack and belt system to your bag or belt. Now I'm going to be right close to the camera here to show you. Now as I said to you, first of all you're going to have to release um, some of the cable in here, so you turn it to your Well, it's to my right, but to your left when you're looking down on it So we really pull out as I said you pull down twist Release some of the cable at the back Then we open it up like so Place it underneath the bag strap your backpack strap or belt, or belt, it can be the, for the same with the belt, but if it's gonna be with your belt, obviously it's gonna be that way down. So we place it on there. We take, I'll try to get this in. We take this secondary clip here. <laughs> Bear with me, folks. We take this clip here, bring it across. Now, as you can see, there's, I'll try and that's it where the door is. As you can see, there's two kinds of gaps here. That is for the actual cables to go through. So when you're feeding that back over, make sure it, that and the two cables go through the gap. So it's like so. You position where you want this actual unit. So put that in there. Position where you want the actual unit is. And then simply Pull down and turn the other way to tighten it. And you keep turning, keep turning, keep turning to when you can't turn no more. Once you can't turn no more, as I said to you before, it has this locking system in there, this ratchet system with the teeth. It will, you can't turn it anymore and it will stay on the last la um, teeth or latch. And then now that is locked into place. Using the GoPro with the mount on there, as I said to you, you need to, as I said in the video, you need to keep it like that. And you simply push down with the GoPro line. I'll try and get that. You're gonna to have to line these two particular groove parts here. It's all the way around, so you can't make no, um, there's no particular way of placing this on the mount. As you can see, it's all the way around. You take that, and there's two grooves. I'll try and get that, sorry, folks. There's two grooves on either side. You simply push down, and you hear it latch into place, and there it is. Now, this is how your camera looks when it's firmly in place, especially with an action camera. Now, I'm gonna be asked if you can put SJ cams, Yi cameras, Yes, you can do. You're going to have to buy the, these particular items. Now, if you've got, an, as I says, these particular items 
have a quarter inch thread on them and a quarter inch screws to GoPro mounts. So you need to buy them because obviously if you screw your SJ camera to the platform, it'd be just constantly looking, constantly looking down. So don't do that. You need to buy these. Now you can get these off Amazon. This is a Joby one which is slightly more expensive and you can pick these up for around about four or five pounds. And this one is a generic one. You can pick these up as low as a dollar or 99p. Oh, my fingers are just in the way. A dollar or 99p off uh, eBay. So them are the mounts that you're gonna need if you have an SJ cam or an Osaka, I think it is, is the other one, and a Yi camera. Them are the mounts you're gonna use. Now, I've showed you how to put it on, and I'm gonna do a jump test to show you that this does not fall out. Here we go, folks. One, two, three. Okay, and as you can see, man, I felt like an idiot doing that. It doesn't fall out. Your camera does not come out of there. It is locked into place. Release this unit off the base right and if it's on your um, belt as i showed you before and i'm sorry about it if i appear to go in and out of the camera i'm going to show you how to release the base unit off the the platform unit off the base unit and i'll try and get this you don't have to if your camera is on there even if you've got your um DLSR camera or even your uh, GoPro style camera or any kind of camera. You don't need to actually remove the mount itself, the camera on the mount. There is a lever and I'll try and get that in. It's so hard to get it in. There is a lever there like I showed you. Simply pull back on the lever, hold your camera, whatever camera you got on there and just pull up. That's it. Do not I repeat, do not try and pull your camera off without releasing that um, lever there. If you do that, you're going to break it. And once that item is broken, this becomes redundant, it becomes useless. Now, this is how you attach it to your belt. And it's the same way as attaching it to the, your back, uh, backpack strap. You release some cable here by turning it uh, anti-clockwise. Release some cable, open that out like so. You take the part that has the clip with the cables that needs to be facing down. And you thread it through the belt. You take the clip part here. As I said, the two cables need to fit between these two points here. Try and get that into shot for you. It needs to fit between these two points there. Once you've done that, now tighten it down by pulling this out and then turning. So when you can't turn no more, now that is secure on there. And as you can see, it is not going anywhere. And if you've got your DLSR camera on this platform, now it's up to you which way you want to do it. Most people will have their DSR having the actual lens facing down. So when the camera sits on the platform, the, the actual DSR camera is facing, or your mirrorless camera is facing down, or your point and shoot will be facing down towards the floor. If you've got a GoPro or any action camera, and you like to take a shot from about waist height, I suggest just leave, just fit, uh, fitting in the camera that way in, as I say, you can go in either way. It doesn't matter which way it goes into the platform is uniform all the way around. Just put your camera in by sliding it across in the groove. You'll hear it snap in when it's done. And it snapped in. And that's it. And I will do the jump test. And as you can see, your camera fits in there quite perfect. Now, obviously, when you're sitting down, it all depends where you put this particular unit. If it's on near to your side pocket, you won't feel it dig in to your side because you're giving it added 
you're putting most of it towards the bottom. But it, obviously, if you're going to put it at the front of you here, it is going to dig into your stomach. So please be aware of that. And to release it, to release your camera out, same as before. There's a lever there, that little lever, which I showed you earlier on in the video. Just pull the lever up towards you, slide your camera out, and then that's it. This is my two pence worth of, and I cannot say it, so I'm going to show you. Get into focus, please. That's it, of that product. <laughs> and, all, uh, and it is also called this tray. I hope I got that right. This this tray on Amazon. Now, I, what I forgot to mention earlier in the video is you can pick this up off Amazon at the present moment. I got that right way around. At the present moment for £12. The original price is £18 for it. I'll start off with the cons or negatives of this particular product. The first negative, which to some people would be a negative, to others it's a positive so it falls a bit like in both camps. This unit is made out of plastic. I have to say it's not a cheap plastic that it's made out of even though it's for that uh, £18 price. It's not a cheap plastic, it's a, it's a good quality plastic it's made out of which helps give it, um, makes it really really light um, because once this is on your backpack and on your belt it doesn't feel as bad as this one, which is based off the Peak Design first generation from TMC, or the Anwar, which is still based off the Peak Designs version. This has a lot more weight to this. So, build quality, I'd say most people would prefer the metal than the plastic, but I have to say, even in the plastic of this, it's still built good. So for its for its price, so don't let that put you off. But as I said, it can that can fall into a negative or positive. The next um, con or negative has to be the actual cable system that this uses. Now some people would probably prefer the cable system because it's only one place you've got to tie them from, rather than. The TMC or Anwar or the Peak Design one, which uses two bolts or two screws on either side that you have to tighten. Um, I'd say placing this on your bag strap is a lot quicker to use this one than rather that one. So uh, that's another thing that will fall into a positive or negative depending which one you prefer. Personally, if you're going to buy something like this, I would try and get the peak design one at the same time. Try the two of them out because it all boils down to if you prefer using the screws method to tighten down on your back, back strap or using the ratchet system and cables of this one. And the last con or negative has to be with the platform. Now I know I'm going to get at this. You cannot, it's not an Arca Swiss type platform. You cannot take this platform off and put it into a tripod. It does not work. The platform is only unique and the size of this platform and how it, how it is constructed and made is only for this particular um, product. You can't even transfer it over to even the Peak Design one. It's totally different. It's They may look the same but um, just by a millimetre difference, they won't fit in. So you can't take this platform to a tripod. Now onto the pros. One of the biggest pros of this particular unit is the, the weight of it. It is lighter, it is much lighter than the Peak Design version of this. The Peak Design TMC uh, and the Anwar, it's much lighter, it's half the weight. This is half the weight of this. So that's a pro. The next pro is the grippiness inside, and I can't even get that on there, is these teeth inside that helps to grip really tight onto your belt or back strap. Another pro, which I also mentioned in the negative, 
is while this TMC Anwar and Peak Design uses these particular types of screws to latch the item down onto your back strap or belt, this only uses a ratchet system on one side, so it's just basically open with this clip, like I showed you, and ratchet down on one side. So the time taken to place that on, it's quicker to place it with this unit than that. And last of all, when it comes to the cons or positives of this item, is the price. Um, if you can get this less than £18, it's a good price for this unit. At £18, it's not too bad. Um, it seems to come what into this territory. Um, the Anwar, I think I picked up just under £10, but that was off eBay. And the Peak Design, it, literally this is, I would say, works out about at least six times less the price of the Peak Design version of this. Because the Peak Design version, last time I looked, was at £60 for it. It could have gone down now, but it was £60 for the Peak Design. And this is six times lower than that price. Which does not make this a non-quality product. It's still a very good product. And the plastic it's made out of is very, very good. Obviously, you have to take care when placing your bag down. You just don't throw your bag down with this thing. Because you most likely will try and... You break, you break it, but um, again, it's with something like this made out of metal. So it is up to you, it's really up to you as the consumer, which would you rather prefer when you're testing out this? Would you want something light and easy to put on straight away and easy to dismount straight away, rather than something a bit more heavier, um, metal, and it will take a bit longer to put on. So it, it's all up to you. Now, if you happen to have this particular item from, <laughs> I can't say, get into focus for me please, from this company, or its other name, which is Distray, because it's known as that on Amazon for some reason, rather than that name, I do not know why. If you've got that, got this particular unit, Please let me know what you think about it because your opinions are different to my opinions so please let us know down in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos can be long but I like to go into detail to save you the trouble of when you buy the product you know what to expect. So that's why my videos are long. Um, Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.